I have with me Ryan Karanjawala. Sir, uh, welcome to Republic TV. You have been the main strategist in this whole case. Sir, what were the major strategies that you've adopted before the Bombay High Court? So first I must make a correction. I have not been the main strategist. The three main strategists of this case have been Mukul Rothgi, Amit Desai, Satish Mani Shinde. And the basic stand that Mukul decided to adopt, which was adopted earlier also by both Satish and Amit was, keep it plain, keep it simple. What are the things that we had to say? One, no possession of anything from Aryan Khan, no medical checkup, no conspiracy. Why should he be in jail for 20 days? Why should he not get bail? Broken down, this was the simplest projection of our argument. And ultimately, I think this is what was from the back of the mind of the judge came to the front of the mind of the judge. So we, we saw a three days long hearing happening. What were the hurdles? What sections were the major problem before the court? Frankly, I don't think there were any real legal impediments. Uh, there, a lot, uh, the, uh, the other side obviously would argue, we, these cases take a long time because sometimes you have to go through everything, uh, explain things in detail to the judge and so on. Also, it didn't take three full days. On every day we reached latish in the afternoon. So it was really a half day, a quarter day, a half day, something like that. So uh, we saw a lot of stress on the Section 27. We saw a lot of stress on the Tufan Singh and the Shovik Chakravarti case. How far these judgments go in? Because NDPS is a very special statute. It was designed to tackle the drug menace in the country. Could, could you throw some light on this? So Tufan Singh is a Rohinton Nariman's judgment and it is a judgment which is uh, set down correct precedent on the point. That was obviously one of the clear cases that we cited. And I frankly don't feel that the sections were at all an impediment. There was no case of possession as far as Aryan was concerned. There was no medical uh, uh, evidence to show that he had consumed the drug. So if it is found on a friend who has walked into a party with him, that can hardly be the reason for implicating him. Otherwise, every time we go in a group, supposing a Bharat comes in to a wedding and uh, somebody in the Bharat is carrying a uh, banned substance, is the groom going to go to jail? No. My next question is the most important one. When will RNB be released? So hopefully we expect tomorrow. And I think that's that's what will happen. If he's very lucky, it'll be tonight. But I'm, I'm not sure that his luck will hold so strong. So what would be the processes involved? The papers go to the jail authorities. The, the order of the court goes to the jail authorities. They process it and, and then the uh, individual is released. A lot of lot is being said about Samir Wangkhede. Uh, we saw that it was already uh, sidelined by the consuls for Arun Khan. But still, if you could com comment on this, I'll do what the consuls for Arun Khan did: sideline it. I'm not going to comment. My last and final question, sir. In this uh, whole case, uh, how far would this investigation can go, as per the law, and how long can this take? See, that's a matter for the investigating authorities. That's not really something for me to comment upon. According to me, then, even on that date, even on 2nd October and today, he's an innocent man and should walk free. So last and final question, Mr. Mukul Rohadgi was there. Mr. Uh, Amit Desai was also arguing. So uh, a case was said that the consumption was not a part of it. If you could throw some light on consumption in the NDPS Act and how, how, how far it can go in punishment. So, th the point is simple here, there's no case of consumption, so there's no case of punishment. I mean, he hasn't consumed at all. There's no medical evidence to show that he consumed earlier. So, wh where is the question of uh, any punishment coming along? And I just gave you that example. You see, what happens if you go in a group? Now, you have walked in today, if, uh, if your cameraman is carrying something which you don't know anything about, are you going to be in trouble because of him? No. So this was uh, Mr. Ryan Karanjawala who was speaking to us after Arun Khan has got bail. He has been one of the key pioneers in the legal team of Arun Khan along with Mr. Mukul Rohadgi, Mr. Satish Manashinde and also Amit Desai who was appearing for our Bas Merchant. I'm Ananya Bhatnagar with video journalist Parvez Alam for Republic Media Network.